Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you can't already tell by the title of the video, it's basically YouTube made me buy these items. And in this video, I've picked out quite a few products that specific YouTubers that I like to watch on a regular basis have made me go out and buy it. So if there's any items that specific YouTubers have made you buy or I have made you buy, please put them down in the comment section down below. Let's have a bit of a chat about why you bought these products, if you still like them. Yeah, so without any further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So I'll start out with a brow product and this here is the Eye of Horus brow pencil. It is very, very similar to the ABH Brow Wiz. Um, Eye of Horus is an Australian brand and the person who made me buy this particular brand and buy this particular brow product, brow product, what is that word? Brow product is Sharon Farrell. Now she is another YouTuber from Australia. She is Irish and I absolutely love her. If you don't follow her channel, definitely go and check her out. She does fantastic vlogs and beauty videos and I just think she's just really funny. I really enjoy watching her videos. But back to this, it's basically just a really skinny brow pencil with a little spoolie on the other end and I have got the shade medium brown. I really like this and yeah, it's one of my go-to products for filling in my brows. So staying on the eye section of things, you would have, if you follow me on Instagram and specifically in my Instagram stories, you would have seen me using this or testing this particular mascara out for the first time, first time ever. So this is the Sephora branded makeup and this is the Outrageous Curl Dramatic Volume and Curve Mascara. So Rachel Jade Ania, who is another Australian YouTuber, made me go and buy this. Now her channel's been in a little bit of, um, she's having a bit of downtime at the moment, but she had got me onto this, made me buy it. And of course I've always got a thousand mascaras on the go. So I only just recently opened this up, but it's got a really tiny rubber brush. It's all sort of one shape. There's no particular curve or anything like that. It's all the exact same one size. And this mascara gives me the biggest, the thickest, longest lash, blackest lashes I have ever, ever had. So I am absolutely loving this mascara. So you probably all know Tanya Burr, who is a UK YouTuber and she has been in the industry, the YouTube industry for a very long time. She has her own brand of makeup as well. And quite a while ago, she used the Rimmel Lasting Finish Powder Foundation. As you can see, I've put a very big dent into mine. And when she used it, she was using it quite a bit. She hasn't used it for a long time now. But um, just the way it looked on her skin, I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna go and try out that powder foundation. I don't think I'd ever really tried a powder foundation as such to set my makeup. I usually only used translucent powders, that kind of thing. And I absolutely love this particular powder. It's not too matte but it's not really dewy or anything like that and just gives beautiful coverage. So thanks Tanya Burr for getting me onto this particular uh, powder foundation. Now I'm pretty sure that we all know the MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy. And I'm pretty sure that Brittany Lee Saunders started the trend of Velvet Teddy. She constantly wears this particular shade in her videos and I don't know how many times in every video people have commented, oh, what's that lipstick shade you're wearing? What lipstick shade are you wearing? And it's always Velvet Teddy. Um, it is a very brown 90s sort of shade. And what's funny is that this shade actually looks completely different on me than it does on her, which is, you know, standard. She has got um, a yellower undertone and blonde hair. But yeah, I really, really do like this particular color. It's a matte formula, so it is a little bit more drier on the lips but then it does also last a bit longer so if you're after the ultimate 90s brown lipstick go and pick up Velvet Teddy. Ah uh, the RCMA no color powder. The person who started this whole using this powder trend was Kathleen Lights and I think after watching her video and the hype that it started to get I thought I was going to pick this up. I have this is my own personal one and I also have it in my professional kit as well. It's just the perfect setting powder 
sets under the eyes beautifully. You can bake with it, not in the kitchen, but baking <laughs> your face. Um, and then you can also do a light dusting. You can set your, power, your foundation with it with a wet sponge. It's just perfect. The only thing that I have an issue with is the delivery system. Like, it's like a big, yep, that's just on my black jeans. That's, yep, super. Close that up before I spill any more. It's like a seasoning type of delivery system, I guess. Yeah, so it is messy. And I have actually just gone and purchased some little um, sifter shaker jars just from eBay to depop this into so it's a little bit more cleaner. I mean, translucent powder always can't, if it comes in those sifter jars is going to be messy, but this is ultra messy. But it is such a great powder and it's such a great price that you should definitely get it. Okay, Viseart, which is one of the sort of pro branded eyeshadow brands, I guess you call it. They are very expensive and they are an investment. I guess if you're just the normal person who likes to put on makeup, you're not a collector, you're not a makeup artist, then you probably sh should skip over these, I guess, because of the price tag attached to them. They are absolutely hands down beautiful, beautiful pigmentation, soft, not too buttery, and not too soft, buttery, beautiful texture. Um, I had seen Emily from Beauty Broadcast, who I have been a very long subscriber of her channel, use these particular um, eyeshadows and especially the, which one is it? The Natural Matte particular palette. I'd seen her use these and that piqued my interest and she did a great big review. If you don't know about a product, go and see Emily. She does the best non-biased reviews ever. Um, and that's, yeah, really piqued my interest. She did some great swatches and also some tutorials on these. And then I decided that that sold me and I was going to pick up these particular palettes. Okay, I've got two products from Smashbox. Chrissy Holmes is the one who made me really want to go out and buy these. So the first one is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation and this is just the most amazing foundation. I use this on my clients, I use this on myself. I have about three different shades to mix and match. And it's just the most nicest long wearing foundation, especially if you have got an oilier skin type. I find that this just helps. You look so, your skin looks amazing and without it looking too cakey or anything like that. And then this is the Spotlight palette. So that uh, Casey and Smashbox brought out in collaboration. I've got the Pearl palette. Um, she also has a gold palette as well, but the pearl one was more what I would use. So it's got three shades in it, a nice light shade, a sort of medium tone shade, and then a darker shade. These are the kind of highlighters that they're not going to be like blinding, see you from the moon type of highlight. These are more of a subtle highlight that can be built up into a more intense highlight especially if you use some setting spray or something like that to you know mix in or set that area um, or use on your brush but they don't show texture on the skin and they don't they just look natural and that's what I really like about these particular highlighters. The Tarte Tartiste Pro now I was really on the fence about whether I would pick this particular palette up just because I had two of the other Tarte Tartist palettes but it was Crystal Conti, who is another Australian YouTuber, who really made me want to pick this up. I watched a tutorial and she used this particular shade here, this sort of duochrome greeny brown kind of shade. And I just thought, yep, no, I need to have this palette. It's got some really interesting shades in it, a lot of matte shades, which I really like on myself and also on my clients. Some beautiful shimmery shades along the side here just as pops and I really think this works in really well with the other two Tarte Tartlet palettes that I have. Um, yeah, so I really held off on whether I would pick this palette up and I'm so glad that I did. Thanks Crystal! Okay, so if you're living under a rock then maybe you need to climb out underneath it if you don't know who Shan XO is. Shannon Harris is hands down the best New Zealand beauty YouTuber out there. She brings out consistent, fantastic content. And I have three items that she made me go out and pick up. The first is the Stila One Step Correct. She uses this on a very regular basis and still does. 
Uh, when I first picked it up, I really wasn't, you know, I, I kind of just thought, oh, that's a lot of hype for a product that I just didn't get. But a little bit of perseverance and I really do like it. I like the way that it has the three different tones in there to help brighten and correct your skin tone. And now I absolutely love it. So I just picked up a mini when I was at Mecca at Christmas time. And yeah, just to try and test it out because I didn't want to spend all my money on a big one and not be happy with it. So yeah, really happy that I picked up a little mini in it. And this is such a great primer. This is her Holy Grail foundation. I have it in the shade Medium One Punjab. It um, is a little bit deceiving in the name of the actual foundation saying it is sheer glow. I find it to be a little bit more on the matter side. Now I will warn you that some of the NARS foundations can be quite a bit on the yellow side of undertones. So great when you're wearing a false tan or something like that. Um, but if you've got a lot of pink in your skin, then you might not find that these um, work for you. But I really, really do like the NARS Sheer Glow. And then finally, the NYX Contour and Highlight Pro Palette. She'd been using this for ages and it took so long for us to get this here in Australia. This is just such a fantastic palette. Um, highlight and contouring is all the rage. But I do really like to use this palette um, as a bronzing and slightly contouring palette. So it's got that banana shade that's really, really popular. It's got a darker sort of shimmery shade here, which is good if you've got a deeper skin tone. And then it's got a sort of a matte creamy shade here, which is great for sitting under the eyes. A really, really bright shimmery highlight. And then you've got your contour and bronzing colors. I use these two mainly together to bronze and then these two to contour but they are very very pigmented so go in with a very light hand. Um, and another great thing about this particular palette is that if I can do this without breaking a fingernail, these actually do pop out and they are matte. Um, you can, I don't think they're available here in Australia, I'm pretty sure that they're not. You can actually replace them um, as well. So hopefully that will be coming very, very soon. Okay, another one of my absolutely favorite YouTubers, Rach Loves. Now she is a Canadian YouTuber. She just, oh, I love her personality. She is just so funny and she does great reviews and yeah, I just, I love her. And she definitely made me buy this Laneige Sleep Laneige, is that how you say it? I, I hope I'm not butchering that name. It is a lip sleeping mask. She had gone on and on and on about how she had used this at night time and she doesn't have anything like chapped lips or dry lips or anything like that. And someone who comes from Canada, I'm pretty sure that they know what they're talking about, especially with the cold weather that they get there. And honestly, I picked this up, I get it from iHerb, and yes, it's an expensive product for a lip balm, but oh my God, I don't think we're in winter here in the, at the moment in Australia and I have not had a single chapped dry lip whatsoever. I use this every single night. If I feel like my lips are feeling a little bit dry or wind blowing, pop this on during the daytime and it's just the best. And another palette that I really thought I was going to pass up on and then when I saw Rach doing, she also took her time getting this palette as well. When I saw her do a video on it, I thought, yep, I'm going to pick this up too. And it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And I guess the reason why I wasn't sure about picking that up is because of all those red and pink toned shades in this particular palette. But honestly, oh my God, I love the diversity that you can get in this particular palette. I've used it on myself. I've used it on clients. And the shimmery shades are just popping. And those matte shades, so, so beautiful, pigmented, blendable. They're not chalky or muddy or anything like that. So if you like your warm tone shadows, definitely think about picking up this particular palette. And my final items for YouTube made me buy it. These are products that Chloe Morello, another Australian YouTuber, we've got some really great Australian YouTubers, um, made me buy. Now the first thing that she definitely made me pick up is the Hourglass Veil. Now I did buy this in a mini size years and years and years ago and I was a bit meh about it, a bit like that um, Stila primer and then 
it's glass and I dropped it and it smashed so I was a bit like oh well I don't think I'm going to pick that up again anyway so I saw her using it and I thought you know what I'm going to try this primer again so I bought it in the big size because I thought right that's it Kate you're going to invest in this and you're going to make it work and you know what I really really love it I love using it on oily skin clients it's just it gives a beautiful nice smooth base to the skin and especially if you have areas of your face especially like the nose area some people makeup doesn't seem to want to stick on their nose area and I put this on there and it just grips so this is a fantastic primer it is on the pricey side but it is well worth it and you really only need the tiniest amount pea sized amount so Chloe also made me buy the Too Faced Creamy Peach Lip Oil Lip Gloss. She has got, I think, every single shade of this, and I was really on the fence about whether I needed a lip gloss, but oh my goodness, these are amazing. I've only bought the one shade, which is in Papa Don't Peach, and it's sort of a nude, dark nude. I'm wearing it on my lips today over another lipstick. They're not sticky, they, your hair doesn't get caught in them, and the smell just smells like peach and some people who are sensitive to smell may not like this but I really really do it doesn't stay on your lips all day once you've put it on the smell does go so it's just that initial putting it on that yes the smell is quite intense but I really like it the Revlon sculpt and highlight contour kit so this is the collaboration that Chloe did with Revlon so this is in the light medium shade so it's got a banana shade, a shimmery highlight, and then you've got a contour shade and a bronzing shade. Um, they're very, very pigmented and also a little bit powdery, which doesn't really bother me. You just tap off the brush. I love using this yellow banana shade. Is this the perfect shade? I use it under my eyes to brighten up. This is more of a daytime highlighter. It's really, really nice undetectable sort of natural looking I've got it on my skin today and it just gives a nice glow and then the two sort of contour bronzy kind of colors I just use a great big duo fiber brush and mix in between the two of them and dust it sort of around the perimeter of my face I really like this little um, contour palette because it's just a no-brainer use all four of the colors in there and it's not complicated you just there's not too many choices and I will just quickly mention that the Chloe Morello and Ciate palette, yes, she definitely made me buy this. Um, it's another warm toned palette. It's got some beautiful shimmers in here that are amazing when used wet um, or dry as well. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful palette. So when this came out, oh my God, it took so long for me to be able to pick this up. It wasn't available online and then it was sold out online. And then I managed to talked to another makeup artist in Sydney who had been in there and had seen them and she messaged me and said I can pick these up for you I transferred her the money and she did and what a little sweetie she was I was so happy that she did that for me um, this was limited edition but it has now come out permanent or it has just re-released I'm not quite sure on that but yeah if you really like um nice warm toned shadows that are really really pigmented and sort of purpley toned shadows definitely go and get this palette well i hope you enjoyed my first youtube made me buy it video and don't forget to list in the comment section down below what youtube made you buy thanks for watching my video guys and i will see you in my next one bye